Hello everybody. Let's talk about GM alternator, the correct way to wire it. This is the correct way. Cider wire, and this is the sensing wire. And it runs back to the post there. Where your, power, where your uh, main alternator terminal goes to also for the charging wire. This is so the regulator knows how much voltage it is putting out. This is not the correct way to wire it. You do not ever loop it from this one to this one, ever. That's never correct, ever, 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 ever correct. What you will do is you will, sometimes you can cause a drain, but it's also incorrect voltage because out of the back of the alternator it may put out 14 volts, but going through all the ignition switch and everything else in your load, coming from your key might be 12 or 12 and a half. And then the alternator will work extra hard and coming out of the back of this might be more. It'll eventually burn it up. Um, the other thing you don't do is you do not go from here to here. You know, just make the loop from here to here and just jump it over to here. And call that a one-wire alternator. That is not a one-wire alternator. You do not go from the battery post to the keyed-on excitation side of the alternator. That will make this field and this alternator run constantly. And in the middle of the night, when it's hot, when it's cold outside, you can come in here and check and see if your alternator is warm. You have it wired wrong. Because that's a drain. That's like a, some of these rotors are like a six amp draw. It'll kill it overnight or over a weekend easily. Kill a battery easily. So um, if you're driving every day, you may not notice it. It'll charge immediately. But that is not the correct way to wire an alt GM alternator. This is. This is factory style. Factory plug comes back to this. To the terminal. Never that. Ever. Never, ever, ever do that. That's it. That's enough for your public service announcement. Um, I also, when you drop the nut off your alternator, uh, make sure it hits the ground. Unlike this one, which it looks like it should go straight down to the ground, but uh, it didn't. I have no idea where it is. I heard it go clang, 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 and then not thud on the ground. It was more like clang, clang, and that was it. It stopped. And symmetric thread of regular quarter inch is not gonna work or whatever. So now I've gotta either find a nut or jack the car up in the air and reach around in there with my magnet and try and find it, I don't know. And the other problem I'm having is shop lights now and the LEDs, they're not directional. It's like the old incandescent lights, you could actually shine and shine the beam correctly. I missed my, I had an old snap-on light that was like the best light I ever had. I called it the sun because that thing was, I could, it was bright all the time and I could, small enough I could direct the beam the LED just kind of floods it and it you know you get shadows like I was trying to show inside the radiator earlier it's a nightmare anyway enough of that rant back to uh, cleaning this thing up and wiring I'm making spaghetti by the way for dinner in case you guys are wondering you like Italian food anyway adios aloha all that fun stuff gosh that's super neat